I swear, if I lose another 10 millimeter socket, maybe there's one down in this box somewhere. There you are. Oh my God, I've been looking for two months for you, let alone a 10 millimeter socket. I thought maybe he's hiding out in the same place. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere. Where have you been? It don't matter. It don't matter. Um, it don't matter because you're just in time. I'm glad I found you just in time because it's time for the angle February camp out. So we got an adventure to go on. Let's go. Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Crafty Crow Show. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a cutesy little, uh, little intro. It's my fault. I've had, uh, I've just not felt like making videos. I'll just be honest with you. You know, we're, we're YouTubers. We're just like you all. We're just trying to do some good content and we get down sometimes. I had a uh, breakup. For those of you who don't know, me and Kathy did break up. I'm sure you figured it out by now. And that's okay. That should have probably happened a long time ago. Uh, I do have somebody else new that is a, uh, she's a very good woman. Maybe someday you'll get to meet her. I don't know. But um, all that going on, plus the holidays, you all know how it is. So I'm going to do today, we're going today. I'm taking you with me. And we are going to go on an adventure because it's the adventure that usually kicks off my mood getting better, starting to get content back out, blah, blah, blah. So today's adventure is the angle Crafty Crow Show and Man's Adventures. Man's Adventures, Crafty Crow Show. I guess I ought to put him first, right? The angle February camp out. So the weather is not going to be snowing. Unfortunately, this time we try to heat it, but we are going to have a bunch of other guys come hang out with us and stuff. Um, I don't have any plans really for this trip like I normally do, but uh, these other guys are bringing lots of different gear and everything, so we'll take a look at what they got. You'll get to see those guys. Some of them you've met before, some of them you've not, and um, it's going to have a good time. We're going to take uh, three days, two nights, get away from work, get away from everything else, just go chill out, hang out up at the lake, of course, and uh, going to do some car camping. Let me show you. Look at that gommed up mess. This is definitely not backpacking. I just threw everything in the passenger side of the truck. So uh, let's get up to the lake. Let's get up with Jason and let's just see what we can get into. But I'm glad you're all are back. I'm glad I'm getting a video back. I apologize. You know how life is, guys. But let's get going. Woohoohoo! And we're here. So as you can see, this is the campsite out past the beach. It's a great one for us to test things because if all else fails, get in the vehicle. We are glamping this weekend, boys and girls. So lake level is actually down farther than I've probably ever seen it. 
So we might go explore out on the uh, the beach or something sometime just for something to do. But I'm going to uh, take a look at Jason's setup over here and um, figure out where I want to set mine up. And we'll get started and shelter set up first, and then maybe uh, maybe some lunch because it's it's about about lunchtime. So let's go check out Jason's stuff. Say hi. The Adventure Jeep. And around here, look there. He expected me to come up on the other side of him. So, hey guys, <laughs> are you ready for an adventurous weekend? The call of camping. The call of camping. And who gave <laughs> that to you? Dave Robinson here at the lake, and I will treasure this forever. Is a very special book, and I collect outdoor books and such. So, yeah, I'm I'm glad to have this one. What year was that? I think 49, published maybe in 50. But it'll go good with my other one. This is Oh, one. yeah, he's got his other scout book. So some of you might know, some of you might not. I am an Eagle Scout. And Dave, the uh, resource manager up here at the lake, he was actually a scout master for my troop when I was in Boy Scout. So he got to witness me get my Eagle Scout. He's an Eagle also. So gave Jason that book. Kind of jealous that... He didn't give me that book. Thanks, Dave. But um, I've got some it. reading literature. I'll share it. <laughs> so there's Jason's setup. He's already been up here for a few hours. Oh. And uh, I'll give you a better view of our view. Right here is the view. It's all about real estate. This was my real estate. <laughs> So what I'm going to do now is find me a place to set up, get my shelter set up, and uh, get settled in. Let's go. So I didn't film it. I didn't want to. Plus, I didn't want you to see my butt crack through the whole thing. But as you can see behind me, I've got my shelter set up. It's one of the military shelter halves. Thought I'd try it out on this trip. And of course I have the sleep system in there. If you can see a wool blanket that mom found for me, that I'm going to use for like a top quilt. So I'm set up. And since I last saw you, there's Nick's big pop-up camper. Look, Jason's filming each other. We're just filming each other. This is We're a, filming each other. the We're crafty each crow other. show behind filming the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's big uh, tent that was up in like 60 seconds. Cheater. That's big enough for all of us to fit in if we have to, I guess. And there's Nick. You ever feel like you're being watched? It's a YouTube channel. You are being watched. Yeah. There's Nick. Say hi, Nick. And y'all haven't seen him in a while, but let's go visit an oldie to the channel. Camp Cook Corey. Look there. So he said he, he was way nicer on my video than he was Jason's. And Corey has decided to do a frozen butt hang. Yes, it may appear uh, by my full beard, the slouchy bogging, and the thick frame glasses that I know what I'm doing, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all wondering why he's still got medical gloves on. Go figure, paramedics. So that's kind of what we got set up. Corey's got his stuff laid out there, getting everything set. Uh, plenty of firewood There's the fire pit. I think this is all that's coming tonight. So This is what we've got set up for the evening Ate a uh, For lunch just a mountain house the what was that? Teriyaki chicken right chicken teriyaki. That's what it was um, Had that before didn't show it to you because we've already seen that one so sit around chill out it is Let's see what time it is no about 20 almost three o'clock in the day so we're going to sit around and chill out now that everybody's got their stuff set up and have a good time we'll see what we get into maybe not much this evening uh, i do have a project i want to do tomorrow and we'll go from there then i know the temperature Yes. Uh, no, I 
I think it's supposed to get into the 50s Fahrenheit today. Uh, drop into the upper 30s. And that's tonight and then tomorrow night. It's supposed to drop a little colder. Still, still be in the 50s, I think, during the day tomorrow and drop colder rain or snow. We're hearing conflicting reports. So we might get snow before this camp's over. And if we do, I'm kind of worried about this shelter because it's not waterproof enough, it's just canvas. Anyway, it goes. Back to you in a few. Fire going. Well, let's go and see what uh, the camp cook is cooking up here. We're going to look at your ingredients here. Look okay. there. You got the holy trinity. Celery, bell pepper, onion, you got the pork. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and do sausage. Yeah, and sausage. Lard. Real Price chicken. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> we got some chicken thighs. So can any of you guess what he's making yet with those ingredients? Chacheries. Dagger. However you say that. We're, we're seven. Let's see what this big, look at this. Ah, Told you he was the camp cook. Look at that set up. Just got serious. Oh. Yeah, okay, yeah. And Jack Daniels is on the alcohol. <laughs> we established that in my video. Yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with Jack Daniels. <laughs> so we're all going to sit around and watch Corey prep this food. He's going to cook us a big pot of gumbo, if you hadn't guessed it already. So, let's see how Corey's cooking does over an open fire. But I just want to show you what he's doing and what he's getting ready. Oh, <laughs> this is probably going to be the best meal we've had in the woods. Possibly ever. And that's why we want Corey to come with us more. <laughs> Leave down in the comments. You think he needs to start a channel? We've been trying for how many years now? Two or three years to get him to do a cooking channel. Oh, he's going to show his rice off with her. Parsley makes everything look fancy. Food glitter. We're trying to get him to start a cooking channel, and uh, he's afraid he can't talk to the camera and stuff like this. Thinks he ain't got personality for it. If you heard what this boy usually come out of his mouth, you'd be laughing your butt off the whole time. But anyway, I just want to show you some of the cooking. But leave down in the comments if you think he needs to start a channel. Maybe we can push him into it. So them dudes over, look at the sunset. Mix here, feeding the fire. And my hind again is sitting by the fire, almost in it. Because I'm freaking freezing and I don't know why. Kind of tired. Uh, didn't sleep good last night, night before I was at work. Hopefully that's all it is. But um, it's getting a little bit too low a light as usual. So you know how the GoPros are. I'll have to let you know how the... Gumbo. Can't cook Corey stuff. Gumbo was he is in the morning, but we're gonna have to close her down for the night. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. It's the end of day one. We'll see what we get into tomorrow. But good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Kind of a rough night. Uh, got some things I need to learn about how to use that shelter. But, wasn't bad. <coughs> I'll give you a, if you hear talking in the background, look here. Jason's over giving his thing. Um, lost my train of thought. I ain't had my coffee yet. So the old brain is not functioning yet. Let me give you a look inside my tent over here. If you can see it, yeah, it's just a big mess of military surplus. But the coolest thing, 
this little UCO light candle lantern. That was the first use of that and no condensation at all inside. And it got, what did you say it got to last night? 30, somewhere in the 30s? Mid 30s for sure. Probably about the mid 30s. We ain't got a thermometer. So probably mid 30s. I could see my breath, but there was zero condensation inside that tent. So I think that's a useful piece of knowledge to keep in mind for me. Um, kept the light in there, it wasn't a bright light. It's pretty cool. So, day two, as you can probably see on my face, and I'm blinding myself looking at it, there's the beautiful sun. I've got a uh, queen size wool blanket that, you know, mom works at a mission store and this come through one day brand new in a package. Full queen size blanket, so this morning, Mom, if you're watching, I'm waiting on mine. Love you. <laughs> I've just got it pinned up. I didn't feel like putting my shirts and stuff on yet. I just got my base later on, and Jason's got the fire going, so threw my blanket pin on. See you there. And uh, got water heating up. I'm going to get some coffee. Eat my oatmeal. It's hit my big hind end right here. I swear, if you guys had been here last night, there was shenanigans. It was entertaining to say the least <laughs> but some stuff can't be shared on camera so <laughs> uh, everybody everybody was happy may have been some alcohol involved anyway we'll catch back up with you in a little while i'm gonna go get some coffee and get this thing functioning so i can make sense to you Rocking with my crocs too. <laughs> I'm not going to bore you to death with every bit of this process because it's a pretty long process. This is third attempt at making one of these. So by no means am I expert. You know, my item A here is a little too big for this. I wish I had kind of a hue and axe or something. That'd be a lot better. But we'll make it do with what we got. Anyways, you can see we're starting to get a little bit of shape, kind of close to the lines. Um, it's going to be okay, but... Just takes a little while. It's gonna be okay. So uh, I'm just gonna keep whittling on it. Uh, I, one thing I have picked up, it's better to do as much rough out as you can with an ax or hatchet, whatever you have. Because man, once you get in them carving spoon or them carving knives and stuff, it takes a while. So you need to get most of the material you wanna get off of there with the hatchet or axe if you can, because that just saves you a whole bunch of finishing work in the end. I didn't learn that on the last one I made, so kind of changing my little uh, approach and I think it's gonna make a big difference. So that's just a little tip for you if you're trying to make one of these. Do most of the heavy work with the big axe before you get on something little. As you can see, 
got it roughed out about as much as I want before I get to the carbon. So, not too bad. Now let's see what, uh, what we can turn this real rough blank into. Boys and girls, I believe we can about call that done. I might do just a little more fine tuning, but uh, feels good, bold out. Yeah, pretty happy with that. I think I'm going to try to put some of my fixing wax on this after I maybe heat it up by the fire a little bit. This beeswax, seal it all up good, and it'll be food safe. Well, Good day, these little project sitting here by the fire, and Jason's over here carving his out. He made a kuska, so that's gonna be going with his kuska, and I think it's gonna look pretty good. So, I got this kind of a traditional stirring spoon for a pot. So, my homemade fixing wax. Just beeswax, vitamin E oil, and olive oil. Set it over by the fire for a few minutes so it's good and pasty. That's what we're gonna finish the spoon off with. So I've done this thing. Took my tent down. Yeah. I forgot to film it, of course. We finally got a weather report and tonight it's supposed to get down into the 40s and rain. I noticed a few holes in that shelter, just small pinhole kind of things, but holes that would let water in. Um, so I'm gonna have to patch those and stuff. So I know that my shelter is not gonna withstand rain. Probably could put a tarp over it, but then it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. I just, I can deal with the cold, I can deal with the rain. I don't wanna deal with both. So took it down, I'm gonna sleep in the truck. That's all right. And it's supposed to start raining at like 10, I think tonight. So that's plenty of time for us to eat, sit by the fire, talk and everything before it does that. It'll be, be about bedtime anyway. Just wanted to let you know, yes, I weaned out. Took my tent down, put it up in the truck. So that's less stuff I gotta pack in the morning when I leave that's soaking wet. Just trying to be transparent with you. Back to the fire. So I'm finally going to get to try it. The Stowaway Gourmet Bison Beer Black Bean Chili. Ever since I've got this, I've wanted to try it. This is supposed to be one of the most popular, so we're finally going to eat it tonight. And for dessert, just because, you know, dessert's good. Creme brulee. I don't know if it'd be good or not, but it'd probably be a little sweet and it'd be nice. So that's what's for supper. It's, it's getting on almost five o'clock. We ate some breakfast. I'm not eating the rest of the day, so I'm kind of hungry. Let's heat up some water, make this stuff.
And as we always say, just set it and forget it. <laughs> oh, I'll let you see what it looks like when it gets rehydrated. Now, if I can show you without spilling it, just a good, oh, fog up the camera lens. There we go. Good hearty chili. And I bet this is going to be some good stuff. By the way, this uh, queen size queen, queen size queen, queen sized wool blanket. I got it out that uh, mom found for me. I highly recommend in cold weather to get you a queen size wool blanket from somewhere because you can put it around you. You've seen me in some of the shots, put it around you kind of like, uh, I don't know, some kind of old style, old biking thing or something. I don't know. But draped around my shoulder, I had my blanket pin on there to hold it, so kind of like a shawl. I have wore this thing around all day instead of wearing a jacket or anything, and I love it. I'm sitting here with it kind of wrapped around me right now for me to eat. It's, it's, it's pretty nice. Actually, this is one of my favorite parts of the... My favorite piece of gear that I've had on this trip is this. So uh, this guy's going to cut me a whole lot more. I'm eating. I'll talk to you in a little while. Mm. Back to you quicker than I thought. Uh, for the the chili, this is good, man. These these stowaway gourmets, they're a little expensive. They're worth the money. I've actually, uh, it's my second one, and I've been real happy with it. So I'm probably going to go back and get more of those. But um, tastes great. I don't think I've had much bison. Uh, it kind of reminds you of ground beef, though. Um. It's pretty good chili. I see why it's popular. I still think I might have liked that uh, Comrade Dojanoff better, that one we had on the one of the last campouts. That, um, what was it like? Stroganoff. It was kind of like a Stroganoff with venison in it. And I just, that tang and stuff to it was really good. But this is good, especially on a cold, cold day. That's good. But anyway, I'm, I, I ramble. You know what I do. <clears throat> what I brought you back for, I didn't tell you how the, what was it, jambalaya or gumbo? Gumbo went last night. See what Corey had? He had some uh, andouille sausage, uh, chicken cut up in it and stuff. Um, put it in our, um, I use my bush pot, with rice, poured it over it, and that was good stuff. And he still says that he rushed it up and it's usually better, and he was apologizing half the night, but... All of us cleaned our plates. So, I mean, it was it was good stuff. Had a lot of spice and stuff to it, like actual Cajun food does. Uh, not heat spice either, just spice spices and um, flavor spices, whatever you call that. But it was, it was really good, and that's probably the best meal we've had cooked. Maybe ever, besides just bringing a steak or something. But that's the first full meal somebody's cooked like that out here. So we was all grateful to have it. We're grateful for you, Corey, for, for cooking it for us. It was really good. We've got to get that boy out here more to cook for us. We'll all pitch in to buy the food if he'll cook it. And uh, we can get him a YouTube channel. Now I'm going to get back to eating. But I, I just was sitting here eating and remembered I didn't tell you about the the gumbo. So it's good gumbo. Well, let's get back to this good chili and get him warm inside. <laughs> So we ate, sat around the fire. Uh, Vern, and I don't think y'all got to meet Vern on my channel. It's too dark to meet him, but <laughs> fellow we used to work with, he moved to another town, him and his wife, and uh, Vern come down to hang out with us and stuff, so we just been out sitting around. Now, the weather is calling for lower 40s and rain to start about any time. And like I told you, I'm... I'm going to stay in the truck. Yeah, I'm a weenie. I just, something about these two-day trips, the first day is horrible. I mean, you all seen the other video. I'll, I'll link it up here of when my tart failed on me. And man, that was, that was a two-nighter. And that was horrible. I don't know, I don't know what my deal was yesterday. I've been warm today. I've been sitting with my wool blanket around me and it's been nice and warm. And I, I don't know. Today's been a better day. I got a project accomplished and just got to chill out today. So 
the two days are great but just because of that, but something about the first day is always cursed for me. Anyway, <clears throat> we're getting ready to call it a night. I sat by the fire and about fell asleep right then because I was good and warm, had a blanket around me. But I got up, I'm in the truck, telling you all good night before I go to sleep. Um, it'll probably be raining nasty in the morning, do the usual get up and drink some coffee and see what happens, but probably going to drink coffee. We've packed most all of our stuff up, and um, so it won't be too bad with the rain. So, like I said, I know we ain't done too much for this one, but it's good to get back on the videos and good to get back into everything. This is a very bright light in front of me. I hope y'all can see me good. <laughs> anyway, good night, everybody. We'll see you in the morning. Hope you're having a good night wherever you are. <sighs> morning kind of a chilly night I don't think it was any worse than the night before so just got this big wool blanket that will jack it over have a little candle lantern in here to try to keep condensation down Didn't keep condensation down but I don't know Stayed warm enough. <laughs> you can probably hear it's raining. I'll show you here in a second, but kind of looking around. I don't think Jason's up. And Kind of looks like Vern's done pulled out and left. <laughs> he was parked beside me and I don't see his truck there. So I think Vern's gone. Headed back to London or to Corbin. Hmm. Anyway, let me get you here and give you a look at this rain right quick. Let's see, there's my lantern. Let's see how fogged up we are. Let's... Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a rainy morning. <laughs> so you can see how close me and Jason's parked. My old truck don't have a muffler. Don't sound bad. It's still got the converter on it, so it's got a good sound to it. It's just loud, right? Yeah, I, I looked out and I seen Jason's Jeep moving around pretty quick after I started the truck right then because I'm kind of tired of being cold. So <laughs> while the truck's heating up and while we wait on Jason to get out, oh. It's, just, I mean, it's kind of pretty. I'm, I'm, this is why we camp in this spot sometimes, especially winter. It's just easier if things get too bad to got your vehicle to get in, start it up and get warm. It's kind of our backup, backup plan. Uh, right there's where I had the tent. I feel like it was a good call on my part. I'd have definitely been soaking wet this morning. And, you know, as cold as I was the other day, it's just a recipe for, for getting sick. Um, the lake, I didn't get to show you all the lake. I was actually wanting to go down to the beach area and just look around, but uh, the lake is actually, if you can see it, especially right here, is the lowest that I think we've ever really paid attention to it being. Um, I don't think sighting last night that it might've missed. There was uh, the other side of the lake, there was a coon hunter. Um, heard him and his dog going down through there, seeing his flashlight shining around and stuff. Uh, other than that, we sit by the fire and everything's good. Barney's definitely gone. So, I'm going to make some coffee. Might grab something for breakfast. I'm not 100%. Not even 100% I'm going to have coffee. I think I'm going to maybe tell him as soon as I get defrosted, 
I'm out of here. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute, though. <laughs> February camp. Woohoo! <laughs> well, we made an executive decision. Jason got smart. Pulled the Jeep over here to load his stuff up. All I had was just my stuff to maybe make some breakfast and some coffee this morning, so. Uh, he got up, sat over here, and he said, I don't think I want coffee. I said, uh, I'm good with that. I can drink coffee at the house. <laughs> That's fine. I'll, I'll get the house. <clears throat> so, him and his uh, lumberjack cap, whatever you want to call that. Warm. That's what I got. Yeah. Warm. So, camp is, <clears throat> ugh, camp is packed. We're sitting here freezing our butts off. So uh, I think we're gonna go home. It's time. It's time. It's time. Go home. <laughs> so, oh, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Glad you've been back, glad I'm back. Again, apologize for taking a break, you know how it is. But uh, all in all, pretty good trip. It was good to see. We had a lot of visitors this time. Uh, way more than we usually do so that was good and sitting around the fire and stuff and just hanging out got my spoon made for somebody special it's not Pam me. knows who she is <laughs> <clears throat> and um, <laughs> we're going to get out of here and go home so thank y'all for stopping by thank you for coming with us thanks for hanging out I hope it was at least a little bit interesting to you but uh you know, like I said, no big projects or anything planned. Just going to chill out. So until next time, love one another as the good Lord tells you. We'll see you all on the next video.